Hello and welcome to CAD Graphics Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to create an exploded presentation or animation. Okay, first go to New and then select Standard Millimeter to IPN, which the IPN stands for Presentation. I'll just over create that. Okay, you'll come up with a blank working screen. Head to Create View and search using the search button open existing file here and search for the file you want to open today I'll be showing you how to explode this penny board that I recently created I have to click on the file, it might just take a while to load up oh now it's not responding there you go as I've moved this file so many times just lost all the files so I'm just going to skip all okay, there's two ways to create this explosion you can automatically create this explosion which I'll just show you how to do this automatic and then you set the explosion distance I'll just do 100 millimeters and here is your automatic created explosion which as you can see it's not so good okay close that if you don't like it and head back to new and open another standard dot millimeter IPN and just do as I showed you create view search for your file and then um, I'll open the penny board again. This time I'm just going to create it manually. It's just manual should already be circled, but just make sure your file should open like this. Okay, to make the first explosion part, you head to tweak components and a box should appear. Right, first you need to select the direction and the components of what you want. So I'll use this plane here at the end of the penny board. Oh, by the way, guys, um, sorry about my penny board doesn't have any bolts or nuts in it. It's just because I've moved the file so much, it's lost all its bol bolts and nuts created by the inventor context. Back to selecting this plane here. I want to select the Z plane because the Z plane is the one that heads out. So now, it, after you clicked on the direction, it automatically when it goes to components, select the components you want to go out on that Z plane. So I'll do these two wheels. And then I want them to head out a hundred millimeters. What you can also do is you can act, um, get the component to rotate, but as they're wheels and when they rotate, it's not going to make any difference. So I'll just leave it straight. Press the circle. Okay, then close and go to the other side, and I'll do that again. Again, tweak components. Select the direction to so I want it to go out. So I'll select this plane. The Z plane again because the Z plane is the one that goes out. Components. It's two wheels again. And tick. Uh sorry, why didn't that work? That's why I didn't type in hundred millimeters. There you go. Close. You can keep doing this to every part, like I'll get up to this part here now and I want to get this little wash here. I want that to come out. So I'll I want it to come out on this axis here, so I'll click Z. This Z plane it automatically chooses. The components, they already selected that wash. I just select this washer as well. And I'll, so I'll have that to come out 120 millimeters. And tick. And there you go, as you see that come, that's come out. You can do with this as many parts as you want. Let's do it with one last part and then I'll show you how to animate it. But I want this rubber part now to come off. Select the plane again, components, select them, and then this one come out a hundred and tick. There you go. That's what we got. I don't know why that's out further. Oh sorry, I clicked selected that last one, so just control Z, redo that. And bring that out. Let's redo this, sorry guys. And back to hundred mils. There you go, alright. So after you've exploded all the parts you want to explode, so it looks whatever you want it to look like, you can head to Animate, which is right next to pre Precise View and Rotation, which is two away from Tweak Components. Click on Animate, and then just head straight to the Play button, unless you want to um, alter the repetitions or intervals otherwise head straight to the play button there you go and it should automatically start to 
and put your components back together in an animation. What you can also do, which is quite a handy tip, head back to animate. You can actually also record your animation. Well, you first of all, you can do your animation from any view you want. Say if you want an isometric view like this, you can do it like that. But if you head to this red circular, which looks like a target, which is actually record, click on it. You can search for where you want to put the recording after it's done. So it's automatically assumed documents. And you can um, select the type of file you want it to record in, which WMV is what it was in general. So you can save it there and then it'll record into there, but I really don't want to record it, but just save it. And then, yeah, you choose the uh, image size for the best. You can have it 640 by 480, or you could do 1080 p by 1920 and you can change the fast kilobytes per second so on so on there you go and it just wants me to do that and then if you just play you'll close the dialog box right into the corner for you and just start recording after the recording is finished should it have automatically saved it and yeah if you look in my documents it should have saved. Oh, I've got so much stuff, but okay, I won't look for it. But the somewhere in there should be. But yeah, that is how you create that. Thank you for listening. If you did enjoy the video and th thought it helpful, please give a thumbs up. Otherwise, subscribe if you did. Thank you for listening.